Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I've got a commission to do now, one of my favourite types of commissions. It's going to be a heart, a Dutch poor heart. Love doing hearts um, on a silver base with really pretty, beautiful girly colours. So, I'm so excited. Let's get started. My canvas is a 50 by 50 centimetre canvas. I've put the push pins in the back to lift it off the worktop. And then I'm just going to use my spirit level just to check all four edges of the canvas, just to make sure that they're level. If they're not, yep, they are, they're fine. If they're not, what I do is spend some time just pulling the, the push pins out, just to get, to, get them to the, so that they're level. So I have mixed this gorgeous, gorgeous silver colour. So this is about four fifths Pebio Studio Acrylics silver and about one fifth Amsterdam white. It is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I like the silver, but I just feel it's a little bit dark for this type of painting. So that's why I've added some white. So it's just a little bit lighter. The other colors I'm using, I've got two greens, um, really bright iridescent green, a gold, a pale pink, pearl white, and a bluish green, and also a beautiful, the deco art pink, metallic -y pink color. I'm gonna list all of the colors in the description and also the recipe because they're all mixed with fluorochrome and water. So I'll list all of that in the video description. So first thing I'm gonna do is cover my base in silver. That's my base covered. Let's just burst the air bubbles with the blowtorch. I mixed this paint last night and there are hardly any air bubbles in it. It's a really good idea if you've got time just to mix the paint the night before or even just a few hours before because then all the bubbles seem to come to the surface so it's, it's a less bubbly paint. Yeah, that, that's, that looks great. So, heart shape. So what I have done is cut out a heart shape out of um, grease proof paper. So I'm going to, I, I, I folded it in half, then I cut, then I've opened it up. So by doing that, I've got a symmetrical heart. So I'm gonna use this as a template. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down onto the canvas. It's going to stick and it's gonna pull some paint up with it, but that's absolutely fine. That's no problem. It just gives me a guide. It just gives me that template. I can always put more of the base color back down afterwards. So I'm just checking, looks yeah, nicely central. So I can start putting some of my colors down now. I'm gonna start with the dark green. So this is the Amsterdam Thalo green. I'm gonna use that just to create the outline. So I'm just running a very small bead of the paint around the edge of the heart. And I'm going to pick up the heart. I'm going to pull a lot of paint up, but that's okay. I've made extra, I've made plenty. You could, of course, draw the heart freehand, but it's such a the shape of it is so critical that I just, I don't do that. I just thought it'd be much better to do the template and then add more paint. Just going for a hint more, tiny, tiny, tiny bit more of this. So dark green done, what next? Let's, mm, let's go for pink. No, let's go for light pink. So if I alternate the dark and the light colors, 
So this is the Amsterdam Persian Rose. Now there is quite a big risk with this painting. I'm adding greens and I'm adding pinks and if they really mix they're going to make brown. So it is quite a big risk. If I can pull it off I think the colours will look amazing. I don't intend to blow this with a hairdryer. I tend to blow it solely with using my breath, using my mouth. So I've got more control over it so it's not going to go as, as quite as far afield. Um, adding some gold. Let's go with some white. Deco art pink. And then last but not least, the Pebio iridescent greenish yellow. Wow, what a combination. So to blow this out, I think I'm going to do, as I did with my last one, I'm going to start here and blow around. So I'm going to be keep on moving this canvas to get into the right position. I think I'm going to find a step to stand on. going to just add a tiny bit more pink, pale pink. I just feel that, that that last pink I added was just is very bright and dark. And you know what, I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the first colour, which was that dark green. The customer's favourite colour is green. And that green did sink a bit. So if I just add a little bit more on, hopefully we'll get a little bit more nearer the, the surface of the pattern. Right, here goes. Right, I think I must have got my apron in over here. So I'm just going to get rid of that a little bit.
these colours are incredible. Oh my goodness, we've got some amazing cells. I don't know if this will work, if this, the, it will focus. Look at those colours. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I put that dark green in last over the top because that would have been missed. That, has, that, that green has totally transformed this. Otherwise it would have been very, very pink. Couple of the colours have got lost, the bluish green. There are hints of it, which I think are really, really pretty. And the same with the gold. I can see the gold everywhere, but it's not dominating. It's definitely that dark green and the pink. Oh my goodness, I love this. These colours are gorgeous. Right, so um, I'm now just gonna spend some time just fiddling to get my shape exactly right. I don't need to do a huge amount. I'm really quite happy with this. Uh, just a bit of fiddling, just to get the symmetry. Um, and then I'll torch. Some cells are incredible. Right, I'm gonna get fiddling with it now. So I think this might be my new favourite heart. I love the silver base, absolutely love it. These colours are incredible. Now they look quite red on my camera, but they're not, they're pink. That The ready colour is just this beautiful rose pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am so happy that I added that dark green, that phthalo green on top, because that really, really stands out. Um, and no brown, it hasn't mixed. I've got some gold coming through, but that's the gold, that's not brown. Otherwise, I've just got pink and green side by side, and I just, I love it. I'm so happy with it. There is some beautiful little features, some beautiful little cells popping through. I'm just so happy with it, and it is so sparkly. It's just gorgeous. So I'm hoping, oh, you can see the sparkle there. I'm hoping that the whole thing will sparkle when it's dry and when it's varnished. The base, because it's silver, it's going to have a wonderful sheen to it. Yeah, just so, so happy. Great, I'll be back when it's dry. It's dry! I love it! Absolutely love it. These colours are amazing. Pink and green. Oh, I'm definitely going to do more pink and green pieces. Absolutely love it. Uh, let me take you in for a close-up. The colours are just incredible. The shimmer on this is gorgeous, really beautiful. The shimmer, well you can't probably can't see it, but can you see the grey, the silver? You can, I don't know if you can see it if I move this camera around. It's got a wonderful sheen to it um, and it's going to look gorgeous when it's varnished. I just love how the cell, all the colours have interacted and created these cells. It's just a real jumble of colours. I, it's just gorgeous. It's, the, the way they've interacted is so pretty. It's, it's a little bit like um, a wreath of flowers or a wreath of, I want to say holly, but it's clearly not holly. A wreath of leaves and flowers all mixed together to make a heart. You get little glimpses of the pearl white there. I wondered if pearl white would be a mistake because it's such a subtle colour compared to the silver. But now, and up there as well, now it's now it's dried. I'm glad I've added it because it just adds a little bit more detail, a little bit a little bit more contrast. Um, so really, really happy.